Hello. <laughs> hey, so today I'm doing a review on this physician physician. I'm doing a review on the Physician's Formula Foundation. This is the Healthy Foundation. Creative. <laughs> it's the Healthy Foundation SPF 20 and it has a brightening complex. So <clears throat> that's what it looks like. It's in a glass jar, so that's pretty nice. I'm gonna just shake it up. So before I put on my foundation, I'm gonna just use my professional matte rescue primer i've been using this primer a lot i don't know if i like it or i think i like the way it feels when i put it on because it's so it's like a gel it feels so nice let's shake it up okay so it's a twisty And it comes with this little, what is this called? It comes with a little stick applicator. A wand. So I'm just going to, I wonder if this is my color. So first impressions is that it's kind of thick. Like it's, um, there's some foundations that are very watery. This is not. So I'm just gonna, oh, it looks like it's oxidizing. So I'm just gonna do this section just in case it dries really fast. Is it just me or does that look beautiful? Wow. Sadie! I don't know if this is sanitary, this is dunking into the thing and going on my face, but what else am I supposed to do? Just put that back. I don't want to speak too soon, but I love it. This hairstyle is not easy to do your makeup with because it's all in your face and like looking like Princess Leia. Am I putting a lot of foundation on? <laughs> if my mom, if my, my mom is probably watching this, hi mom, but she's probably thinking that I have a lot of foundation on. She's like, you have a lot of foundation on. <laughs> ah, love you mom. All right, so it looks like it's pretty, like you see the color difference here on my forehead, but I think it oxidizes a little bit, so it should look good in a second. So I don't know if I'm gonna put concealer on because I kind of want to just do like a natural look today. So I'm just gonna put some of this foundation under my eyes just to get rid of the dark circles. So I don't think that I'm gonna do any powder like under to set this because it seems to dry pretty nice. There's not much creasing under my eyes. Man, I'm really liking this foundation. I mean, I've only had it on for like two minutes, but it just seems so natural. It's not full coverage, definitely. Like you can see my freckle right there. Um, I think this is a great everyday foundation. This foundation is like $11. <sighs> but you know, whenever you put foundation on, I feel like initially it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna do a wear test. I'm gonna wear this the entire day. I'll come home tonight and 
I'll let you know how it is. But right now, I'm loving it. So for my eyes, I'm gonna use the uh, Master Palette by Mario. <coughs> Hi. <coughs> I just worked out and my legs are still shaky. I don't like that feeling. Okay, so this is like one of my favorite colors ever. You can see there's like a nice little dent in it. What's this thing called? So it's called Kim. Hmm. So it's this like rose gold shimmer here. I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. I'm just gonna use my finger. There's no um, powder on my lid or anything. So I'll just put on my finger like that. Is it gonna get in focus? No, okay, it's fine. And then just tap it all over my lid. Is this like a rose gold or more like a copper gold? Probably like a copper. Yes. I know this is kind of weird, but I'm gonna use the brush that comes in the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette because I actually really like this brush. Can you see it? It's very, um, it's a more rough brush. Like it's kind of scratchy and I feel like that just, I like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm using the Too Faced palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, and I'm going to be using this color right here called uh, Salted Caramel. Obviously, I love this color because it's like gone. It's like the only color that's hip pan in this whole palette. So I'm just going to get a bunch of my brush and then just put this in my crease and blend it into that Kim color. Is it weird that I'm doing my shadow before my eyebrows? I feel like that's kind of weird. This eye look literally took me like two seconds. I think it's perfect for summer, you know? Just like a great, oh. Like if you wanna do something really quick that makes you look real bronzy and. So I'm just gonna use the bottom side to do, oh, my nose. And side to do my lower lash line. Okay, let me do my brows. I can't I can't keep looking at myself like this. Okay, brows are done. Let me get bronzer. Okay, so I'm gonna use my e.l.f. bronzer and I'm going to be also using my Real Techniques sponge to apply it. So there it is. Very much loved. So I'm using the pointy side of the Real Techniques sponge. And I'm just gonna do like this. I want more of like a natural look, so that's why I'm not wearing any concealer. I'm gonna be, am I kind of brighter? Let me see. Let's put this down just a tad. Oh, wow. So I thought I was filming and I wasn't. I hate that. But I just went in with my blush, I pounced it and then just add it a little bit. This blush is very nice. If you use a sponge, it's perfect because it doesn't add too much. My sponge smells like strawberries because I use a strawberry soap. <laughs> so now that I'm here looking at it, I really want to put some dark on the outer corner to give it a little bit of depth. So I'm going to use the same palette that I was using, the Ma... Ma Master Palette by Mario. I'm gonna use the color Violetta. So it's like this chocolatey brown here and I'm just gonna put it on the very outer corner of my eye. All right, so I went a little bit crazy. I put some of Isabel in my crease just to make it a little bit more orange. And for my lips, I really wanna do like this orangey red color. So I have this, and this is kind of like a, 
like a really dark pink and then this is orange do you think that could work we'll see first I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara and I think I'll put some highlight too all right so my highlight I'm gonna be used soft and gentle by Mac yes yes can you see This highlight is good! Okay, so I put this orange lipstick on and I actually really like it, but I wanna make it a little bit more pink, so I'm gonna see if I can mix it with this liquid lipstick. Ugh, I don't know how that's gonna work, but let's see. I have an idea, if I just can, like, clean this off okay this is not doing what I wanted to do so I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna put the red on first and then the orange on top of that and we'll see what happens that came off easy okay so since I'm gonna have a liquid lipstick I'm gonna put a chapstick really quick Okay, oh, I think I got the lipstick how I wanted it. So I, I had to do the liquid lipstick first and then do this regular lipstick on top and it's like so pretty. It's like an orangey red. I'm ready for summer with these lips. So I'm going to sign off now. I'm gonna wear this foundation the entire day. I'm gonna come back tonight. I'm gonna show you how my face looks and I'll tell you if I like it or not. Right now, I like it. Like, look at this highlight. I feel like just because of this foundation, because it, like, I feel my face and it feels like I have nothing on it. Oh, so nice. So, so we'll see, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so I've been wearing this foundation all day. I am so ready to take it off. Look at this. All right, so, I love the natural it the the way that this foundation just feels so natural like on my skin if I t like sometimes I can tell that I'm wearing a lot of foundation when I touch my skin sometimes it feels a little bit tacky or I don't know just really heavy on the skin but this feels very light and very comfortable the one thing that I don't really like is on my nose like right here is a little bit oily so you can see I always put highlight like right here on my nose so it gives a little bit of shine when I turn my head but in there it's a little bit oily and on the other side too other than that this foundation is like good really good so I'm really happy about that and I feel like I'm gonna use this a lot for just every day like really natural look even if I do like kind of a smoky eye like I did today the foundation is still really appropriate for the daytime even the nighttime actually it's a good foundation it's definitely good for $11 I feel like if you're just starting out with makeup if you're older and you feel like your skin is more mature this is a great foundation because it's very moisturizing and natural so my final thoughts, this foundation is good. My, my thumb is in focus. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. I had a great day. I will see you in my next video. I would love for you to subscribe. I make all types of different videos, mostly makeup related. I love you guys. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.